to say. I love that. What's the pussycat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. For patches. A 20 pound weight loss. And I would certainly like to say the same. Which would make her a copycat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Funny, Kate said the same thing the first moment she laid eyes on patches. Whoa. Genimos, CNN, <laughs> New York. Oh, I, I love patches. That little pose at the end. <laughs> that the was meow. incredible. Oh my goodness. We'll definitely be following Patches' weight loss journey. I can't <laughs> wait. That was an incredible story. Good luck to Patches and Patches owner. Well, let's take a live look outside. We ooh, we are seeing some beautiful conditions for today. Um, excuse me. Um, and I'll have a look at what to expect for the rest of your day. That is coming up. Plus, in yesterday's bill signing session, Governor Inslee signed several new laws designed to protect certain health care rights. And in the wake of new gun control legislation, the National Rifle Association has sued the state of Washington. Good Morning Northwest continues right now. From Camp KPU Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. And I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And Riley, it is going to be a beautiful weekend. Do you have any plans? Do I have any plans? There is a spring bazaar coming up Ooh. at Hanford High School. I have that to go to. Very excited for that. Yeah. Um, other than that, enjoying the beautiful weekend. Enjoy the Getting weather. outside, yeah. yeah. Do you have any plans for the weekend? <laughs> That's exactly what I'm going to do is enjoy the weather. <laughs> Fantastic. Let's take a look outside. We're going to be taking a look in Richland. Live look through our Columbia Point Sky Cam. It's looking just beautiful today. We are staying nice indeed. And we've got a dry day ahead with some light winds. Looking forward to that hot weekend. That's ahead. Let's take a look at the temperatures for right now. It is definitely going to be warming up throughout the rest of our day. Warming up quite a bit as we're in the lower 40s right now for the Yakima area. Lower 40s as well for the Tri-Cities and the Mid-Columbia area. And the blues are a little warmer than us right now at 47 degrees for Yakima. For our daily planner, we're going to be hitting 81 degrees in in the Yakima area and it's going to be hot and sunny today in the Tri-Cities, 83 degrees and it's just a beautiful day ahead and a lot more sun coming. A little bit of cloud coverage in Walla Walla, 81 degrees. Very looking forward to the beautiful temperatures ahead and tomorrow as well. I'll have more in my full forecast that's coming up. Reproductive and gender affirming care taking center stage in Washington state politics. Governor Jay Inslee signing several state bills that add protections for abortion access and gender affirming care. The bills signed yesterday morning during a ceremony at the University of Washington campus in Seattle. In all, the legislation will protect abortion access in Washington state and support the doctors who provide that care. The measures take steps to counteract recently enacted legislation in neighboring Idaho that aims to stop people from crossing into Washington for such care. And by this act today, we are going to make sure that the women of Washington State have access to this drug. And I'm proud that the Washington State has led the nation in doing this. And I'll be signing HB 1469, which will shield women of the state of Washington shield them from the intrusion of other states that somehow would try to use our judicial system against this freedom right. This bill will prohibit cooperation for our state's investigations relating to abortion. Further, HB 1340 will protect health providers from having their licenses revoked or other disciplinary actions stemming from reproductive care or gender affirming care. The governor also signed Senate Bill 5242, which his office says eliminates deductibles for cost sharing for abortions. Governor Inslee's office says the 2023-2025 budget contains $15 million for abortion care. The governor plans to sign the updated budgets next month. Meanwhile, backlash against legislation the governor signed, which bans assault weapons in Washington state. Several organizations, including the NRA and one gun store in Spokane, now suing the state of Washington over its semi-automatic rifle ban. The NRA says the ban violates the Second Amendment and restricts the rights of law-abiding citizens. 
Court documents show Spokane gun shop sharpshooting. Along with other groups say the semi-automatic rifles are the modern standard. They call the law unconstitutional. The lawsuit goes on to say the law violates both the Second and Fourteenth Amendments. And tens of millions of Americans use these every day for lawful purposes. Uh, so we brought this suit forward on behalf of NRA members and Washingtonians who you know, are exercising their fundamental right to keep and keep and bear arms. Washington Attorney General Bob Ferguson says he expects the state to face lawsuit. The 2023 Tricidian of the Year is retired PNNL Lab Director Lura Powell. The announcement was made at the Three Rivers Convention Center last night. After retiring from PNNL, Powell was appointed to the WSU Tri-Cities Board of Regents. Powell has been an active member of Seroptimist International of Pasco Kennewick for 13 years, where she helps young women with access to education and economic empowerment. One of her biggest passions, though, is human trafficking awareness. For me, it's been helping women and girls succeed and be able to, particularly those who are disadvantaged, to succeed and to live their dreams. And it's also been about helping to, to raise awareness of child trafficking in our community. When Powell isn't volunteering her time, she says she enjoys golfing, traveling, and spending time with her grandchildren. Japanese exchange students at Davis High School have spent their last couple of days in Yakima learning about Yakima culture. 28 students have been working to learn intricate methods of Native American beading to make ropes, keychains and medallions while being told some of the history of the Yakima people. The assistant principal who leads the class has been beading that way for years and was excited to share it with the students. I'm Simpson from Alaska. But I worked a lot with the Yakima tribe, with the tribal school, and, and um, so I'm always promoting Native culture. She says the students fly out today, but she's hoping to make it a tradition and share this with the next group of exchange students. An update now in the deadly stabbings at the University of Idaho last fall. One of the roommates who was not injured will not have to return to Moscow when the suspected attacker goes on trial. The Idaho Statesman reports Brian Koberger's legal team had made a legal demand for the roommate to appear in court for a preliminary hearing this summer, saying the roommate has information that could prove Koberger is not guilty. But that former roommate now lives in Nevada, and she's agreed to an interview in Nevada with Koberger's team instead. STCU and Cap KVU local news are looking for community volunteers in Benton and Franklin counties who go that extra step helping us all. If you know someone like this, please nominate them by clicking on contests at yaktrynews.com. Every six weeks or so, we choose a volunteer to profile on Cap KV Local News, and STCU awards his or her organization a $1,000 donation. Thank you for nominating someone, and a big thank you to all volunteers who make our communities stronger. Arlie Fitzgerald is here now with a look at your forecast. Well, it's looking beautiful today. Ooh, a nice cloudless day in Richland through the Columbia Point Sky Cam. We're gonna be heating up even more for our weekend. I'll have more conditions for you in just a couple minutes. Plus, a pair of nonprofits in Yakima are partnering to change the way care is given to the homeless and those fighting addiction. Hello, I'm Alan Brecky from Alan Brecky Law Offices. You know, over the years, our firm has developed a tremendous amount of resources to help protect public safety. Timing, equipment, talent, skill, these are all ingredients of success. Total Energy Management has been serving the Tri-Cities area with superior HVAC service for over 38 years. Our priority is to exceed consumer and client expectations with innovative carrier products and a brand new facility with state-of-the-art equipment. It's time to beat the cold with Carrier's cool cash rebate of up to $1,750. Turn to the experts at Total Energy Management and save on your next home comfort system. It's time to get the tax break you deserve this week at Walker's Furniture as they offer a double discount with 18% off or no minimum purchase, no money down, five years financing with 60 equal payments. There's no better time to freshen up your living room, dine in style, or get that bedroom set you've always wanted. Plus, get a double discount or five years financing with 60 equal payments. Making it the perfect time to furnish your life for less at Walker's.
Build your deck with PAR and get everyday low prices on Trex and TimberTech composite decking. But shop now and you'll get $100 off TimberTech, Trex, and AZEC railing and accessories with qualifying purchase. Visit PAR.com for details. What are you going to build? Everybody, we will, we will. Give it to us! Adam Lambert and the Top 12 rock the house. Plus, an epic surprise announcement. You did what? Idle Live, coast to coast, Sunday and Monday on ABC. Hello, I'm Alan Brecky from Alan Brecky Law Offices. You know, over the years, our firm has developed a tremendous amount of resources to help protect public safety. Timing, equipment, talent, skill, these are all ingredients of success. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. It is 610 on this Friday morning. Welcome back. For people who are homeless and struggle with behavioral health or substance use disorder, asking for help is hard. Finding reliable transportation to get there can be even harder. Cap KV's Emily Goodell tells us that's why Comprehensive Healthcare and Camp Hope are partnering together on what they say is a game-changing project to bring those services to them. Imagine having a mental health crisis, getting up the courage to go there, getting the courage to, to walk through that door and say, I need help, and then finding out there's no one available to meet with me for a week or two. It helps to have a case manager and therapist from Comprehensive Healthcare on site at Camp Hope, even if it's just on a part-time basis, because they're treating people where they're comfortable. It kind of took some of that anxiety away, and it made people a lot more... Uh, Appliable to what, what we were trying to offer them. A success that's led them to a bigger vision. A full-scale behavioral health center and transitional housing units for about 48 people, all at Camp Hope. This facility is really going to represent, uh, you know, milestones as it relates to decreasing barriers and increasing equitable access to health care. Five or six staff, including full-time case managers and behavioral health therapists. Offices, large and small group rooms. We have two medical exam rooms that'll be in there. Eventually, we'd like to have a medical doctor. Plus, a kitchen and a classroom where they can learn life skills. What they're really excited about is the opportunity to better themselves in the classroom environment as well. Whether that's coping skills, whether that's money management, PTSD support groups, whatever it may be, they're going to have that opportunity that's right here all in a uniquely made facility. These orange containers will be shipping containers that will be converted into ADA restrooms and ADA showers for men and women. Shipping containers actually are gonna make up the behavioral health space and they're gonna be part of the transitional housing. Providing a private space and a lockable door to help people feel safe. Transitional housing helps people kind of stabilize in their environment and, and to begin to learn skills that they can bring forth when they find that permanent housing. They say shipping containers are a great option because they're a lower cost, they're energy efficient, portable, and durable, and can last for decades. The project already partially funded. What I received from the state of Washington through much work with Representative Mossbrooker was a million dollars to develop the behavioral health space and the transitional housing. But they're applying for additional funding from the county's mental health tax to cover staffing costs with the hope that other organizations will want to get involved. We want to alleviate everything that we possibly can to make sure that we're supporting people, lessening their suffering and giving them the resources to get stabilized. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Cap gave you local news. They say if everything falls into place, their goal is to be up and running by later this year. Coming up, the Princess Theater's newest production opens tonight, and they managed to pull off a delicate balance of math and art. And Riley Fitzgerald will return with a look at your first alert forecast. Shelter. Out here, it's the most important thing. But the good thing is, my Ford F-150 provides enough power to keep working. Get a great deal on an F-150, only at your local Ford dealer. Spring into action and save on stressless seating at Meredith Furniture. Now get $400 off all classic power recliners, signature base recliners and ottomans, and cross base recliners and ottomans. And get $400 off most sofas and love seats. Imagine how much you can save building your dream sectional. Shop Meredith Furniture at First in Washington in front of Hobby Lobby. 
When it comes to supplying the farm, come to Northwest Farm Supply. Your hometown store has a wide selection of everything egg related. Plus, we're the largest Purina dealer in Hermiston. Products you trust from people who care. Northwest Farm Supply in Prosser, Hermiston, and Othello. At the Blue Mountain Station in Dayton, Washington, we invest in community. Our partners include Sweet Cheeks Bake Shop, Cedar Rain Spirits, Onyx Farms, Ray's Roast, Red Band Cellars, Barden Bead Meadery, and the Co-op and Commercial Kitchen. We invite you to explore Dayton today. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, Installation and installation services. Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $2,100 off on a new Dyke and Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. That sound? Wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves! Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer only at your local Ford dealer. If you have outdoor plans, Trust Camp gave you first alert weather. With our powerful technology, we can literally see days ahead, giving you time to prepare for what's next. First alert weather from Camp KV Local News, helping keep you and your families safe. April is National Foot and Ankle Health Awareness Month. If children complain about recurring foot pain or other problems, see a doctor. Get more information at yaktrynews.com. Prosser Orthopedic Center podiatrist Dr. Jared Clifford is accepting new patients. This is how we care. This newscast is sponsored by the Working Family Tax Credit. Now, Cap KVU First Alert Weather. Welcome back everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We're taking a look outside in Richland through the Columbia Point Sky Cam. It is looking like a beautiful cloudless morning. Let's get into our full forecast. Happy Friday everyone. We have made it to the end of our work week and boy oh boy we are definitely staying nice today. We've got some dry and light winds that are ahead and we're definitely making our way into a hot weekend ahead today and into tomorrow. 80 for Yakima, 77 for Ellensburg, lower 80s for the mid Columbia and in the blues lower 80s as well. For our future cast, we are seeing a whole lot of nothing going on, especially today into tomorrow. Not a lot of cloud coverage that's making its way and no showers until we get to Saturday evening. Just a few sprinkles of showers along the cascades that are making their way just a little bit across our area. Some more cloud coverage coming for Saturday into Sunday as well. For our wind outlook, we are seeing not a whole lot of wind to start our weekend and then we are peaking a little bit for that wind on Sunday, settling down through the work week, making our way five to 15 miles per hour. Not a whole lot of wind for our area. For our temperature trend, we are seeing we are 12 degrees above our average for Friday, 17 degrees above average for our Saturday. That is a hot weekend that's ahead. We're settling down for our Monday, raising back way above average for the rest of our work week next week. It's gonna be definitely a hot weekend ahead and into our next work week. For our temperatures tonight, we are staying warm and cool. These are kind of what our highs were looking like for last week. The lower 50s into the mid 50s, staying nice and warmer than we've been definitely for tonight. For our seven day forecast in Yakima, 80 degrees for Friday, 87 for Saturday, 80 degrees for Sunday, dropping a little bit into our Monday, raising back throughout the rest of the week. Definitely some sun for our weekend ahead. Very, very exciting. For the Tri-Cities, we're seeing the upper 80s this weekend, settling down to the lower 70s to start our work week and raising back for our midweek when, we, when was the last time we saw this many 80s on our forecast? It is very, very exciting in Walla Walla. Starting with the sun today, 85 for tomorrow, 84 Sunday, dropping for Monday, but raising back up as we get through the rest of our work week. It is a hot and sunny day that's ahead for today and for tomorrow, an even hotter day that's coming tomorrow. It'll start to cool off a bit for the start of our next work week, but we are starting to feel like spring. It's very exciting. Have a great Friday. 
Art and math. You may think these topics have little to do with each other, but the Princess Theatre in Prosser is bringing the two together. The play Proof opens tonight, and math is a very strong plot line throughout. For this production, the theatre has brought in a dramaturg. That's a person who can bring context and help ensure the accuracy of the production. In this edition of Artbeat, I spoke to the research scientist advising the actors in Proof. This is like a symphony to me. This there's a certain beauty about it, and there's a certain... Greg Schenter is a research scientist at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory. So I do chemistry, physics, and mathematics to try to understand phenomena at a very fundamental level. Here's an example of an elliptic function. And now he's taking his passion for math... There's an elliptic function. <laughs> ...and applying it to the theater. Where you yeah, I wrote down themes. a lot of the themes. Yeah, what is real? Recruited by friend and director Ted Miller to serve as a dramaturg for the Prosser Princess Theater's production of Proof. Early on in the process, as I was preparing and planning and building my production team, uh, realized that m many actors uh, and and people in the arts aren't necessarily mathematicians, and yet these characters have. Uh, a love and an understanding of mathematics that is like artists and beauty and that sort of thing. Schenter has been able to share that love and understanding with the actors and even advised on the accuracy of a promotional poster. Ted showed me an early version of the poster and it turned out to be a lot of generic physics equations. I said, wait a minute, that's not mathematics, that's physics. And so I distinguished between mathematics and physics. And the play isn't only about math. Proof tells the story of the daughter of a mathematical genius who she cared for through mental illness. It's just a beautiful story that I like to say explores the, the themes of gender, of genius, of mental illness through the beauty of mathematics. If you don't have the same love of math that Schenter does, not to worry. There are plenty of relatable themes for audiences to appreciate. This is the first time in the Princess Theatre's history that a dramaturg has been used. It's also director Ted Miller's first time directing at the Princess Theatre. He will be hosting a drinks and dialogue with the director before Saturday evening's performance. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, new reports are set to be released to get to the bottom of last month's bank failures. Thanks to Les Schwab Tires, I'm a constant backseat driver, but mine's a little stressed about spending. Remember, deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So that's right here. During our spring tire sale, we watch out for your wallet too. Save up to $175 when you buy select tires with financing. Les Schwab Tires. Welcome to the Spectrum Lab, where we're bringing you the best in connectivity with Spectrum One. Get Spectrum One with Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, plus your first line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, free for 12 months. Call 833-823-4999. Spectrum Internet delivers the fastest internet speeds in the nation, so you always have the speed you need for all your connected devices. This guy gets it. Advanced Wi-Fi comes with state-of-the-art security and privacy, which automatically blocks online threats on all your devices. If it's connected, it's protected. Plus, Spectrum Mobile gives you unlimited talk, text, and data on a reliable nationwide network. At Spectrum, we're always working to bring you better ways to connect. You think they noticed the orb? I think so. Get Spectrum One with Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi, plus your first line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited, free for 12 months. Call 833-823-4999. Visit Spectrum.com or Spectrum Store today. At Mattress Depot USA, we believe everyone is entitled to a good night's sleep, regardless of their credit situation. That's why we're approving everyone for up to $1,200 towards the purchase of a new mattress with no credit needed. You spend a third of your life in bed, and a comfortable mattress is essential for providing quality of life. $3,000 credit, 100-day same as cash with no credit needed, only at Mattress Depot USA. Low prices every day, Mattress Depot USA. Get a great deal and the best prices of the year. Now, at Overture Kia, you'll find a great selection of new vehicles in stock now. A 2023 Kia Soul LX with automatic transmission starts at just $19,999. Plus, get interest rates as low as 2.9%. 
Take delivery today or reserve a car that's on its way. Shop online anytime at OverturfKia.com. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. Take flight over a museum of trains on Fly the Northwest Tuesday. Reports out later today will look at why those two national banks failed last month, causing people to rush to get their money and prompting financial fears across the globe. The reports by the Federal Reserve and FDIC will also propose ways to prevent this from happening again. ABC's Lindsay Watts has what we can expect from Washington. What led up to the banking implosion that put markets on edge and rattled the global financial system? Two reports out today will shed light on the failures last month of Silicon Valley and Signature Banks. The Federal Reserve and FDIC releasing dual post-mortem reports. One big question, what did the Fed know and when? Before Congress, the Fed supervisory chair was asked directly whether he believed the Fed dropped the ball. Fundamentally, the bank failed because its management failed to appropriately address clear interest rate risk and clear liquidity risk. This morning, Reuters is reporting that regulators were worried before the March crisis that the FDIC warned late last year large portions of regional bank deposit balances were uninsured, noting the potential for impacts on other banks. The reports out today are also expected to address whether regional banks should once again undergo stress tests like the nation's largest banks. Those rules were rolled back under the Trump administration. We need better laws here in Congress. There was a clear supervisory failure. Our regulators were simply asleep at the wheel. Right now, another regional bank is on the brink. Shares of First Republic Bank plummeted nearly 50% Tuesday. In all, shares have fallen almost 90% since the beginning of the year. The White House says it's continuing to monitor the situation. The FDIC will issue another report on Monday about deposit insurance. Currently, the feds insure deposits up to $250,000, though all deposits were insured when those two banks failed. Coming up, the 2024 presidential race is already starting to heat up as more candidates announce their intention to run. With Furniture Row employee pricing, you pay what we pay. Right now, our employee pricing is available to everyone. Get 15% off any single item when you spend $9.99 or more, plus four years no interest financing. But hurry, employee pricing at Furniture Row ends soon. Where's the most mouth-watering pizza and best salad bar in town? Well, Hubby's Pizza, of course. Order Hubby's Pizza tonight and get a large 16-inch pepperoni pizza for just $15.99. Mouth-watering yumminess. The perfect fresh dough and toppings for a quick and easy dinner. Dine in or carry out. Come acquire the Hubby's Habit, your hometown favorite for nearly 45 years. Sometimes when you do life, your body needs help. Here at Westside Chiropractic Center, we want to fix you so that you can get back to living your life pain-free. So come see us at Westside Chiropractic Center. We got your back. Did you know the most common mosquito in our area can travel five to eight miles? Here at Benton County Mosquito Control, our objective is to provide effective mosquito control for your home, neighborhood, and community. Our friendly mosquito control technicians use mosquito population monitoring, educational programming, and a variety of field techniques to reduce mosquitoes in your area. Reduce areas of standing water around your home to help control mosquitoes. For more help, give us a call or visit us online at www.mosquitocontrol.org. Benton County Mosquito Control, where your comfort and health become a priority. It's great to see you. Come on down. Welcome to Sea Galley. Dinner tonight or the Shipwreck Lounge. May I suggest our Surf and Turf special, Prime Rib and Crab. Homeowners, Washington is moving to renewable power. Consider an investment in green energy. Rooftop solar with Solar Power Northwest, a true one-stop shop. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. Rubble. 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 These are our best burgers ever. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. For over 600 different premium cigars, including every cigar rated 95 and higher in the last decade. 
It's the Educated Cigar. 415 different fine pipe tobaccos and 55 different briarwood pipes from England, Germany, and Italy. It's the Educated Cigar. For 95 and higher rated wines and White Bluff IPAs, it's the Educated Cigar in Richland. With employee pricing at Denver Mattress, you pay what we pay. Get 15% off any single Denver Mattress brand product when you spend $9.99 or more. Plus, four years no interest and free shipping. Hurry! Employee pricing at Denver Mattress ends soon. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. Between political rivals rise as more politicians announce their candidacy for the 2024 presidential race. And economists are concerned about the impact on Americans if lawmakers are unable to come to a decision on the national debt limit. And we have a look at your morning conditions, a beautiful day out. Your first alert forecast right now. From Cap KV Local News, this is Good Morning Northwest. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. And I'm Riley Fitzgerald. And Riley, I don't know how to handle the transition that we've gone through with the colder temperatures to now, it feels like summer. It has gone by so fast. It, immediately, I mean, last week we're, we were experiencing cold conditions mm -hmm. and now we're experiencing very, very warm conditions. So I'll it's take definitely it. <laughs> an adjustment. Let's take a look at today's forecast. Happy Friday, everyone. We are having a fantastic day, staying nice. We've got a dry day with some light winds and we're looking forward to that hot weekend that's ahead. Taking a look at our temperatures for today, Yakima is seeing a whole lot of sun, 80 degrees for the rest of your day. Beautiful and hot and definitely very sunny. For the Tri-Cities, sunny as well, making our way to 83 degrees for the Tri-Cities. Hot one as well. Walla Walla is seeing 81 degrees. It's a hot day today. Definitely going to be a hotter day tomorrow. All of our temperatures are raising between 4 and 7 degrees. And I'll have more on my full forecast. That's coming up. Tough new talk in the race for 2024. The insults are flying. And one long shot Democrat is telling us why he thinks he can beat President Biden. Here's ABC's Andrea Fujii. It's still very early in the campaign season, but last night, President Biden and Vice President Harris held a virtual campaign strategy call, pinpointing guns and abortion as two issues they'll be emphasizing going forward. This is about our freedoms. MAGA Republicans are trying to take us backwards. Former President Trump was in New Hampshire addressing his many legal troubles. I fly over a state that happens to be Democrat run. They send me a subpoena to go before a grand jury. These people are sick. They're weaponizing that stuff. Trump slamming Biden's record on crime and the border and mocking the campaign video Biden released this week. Prepackaged video that took supposedly seven takes to get it right, if right is what you want to call it. Republican candidate Nikki Haley also questioning Biden's competence, suggesting Biden, who's now 80, may not live long enough to finish a second term. If you vote for Joe Biden, you really are counting on a President Harris because the idea that he would make it until 86 years old is not... Um, is not something that I think is likely. Meanwhile, another Democrat in the race, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., sat down with ABC's Lindsey Davis, speaking about his background in environmental law and why he thinks he can take on Biden. I think I know more about how to fix regulatory agencies than any other politician in this country because I've spent 40 years suing him. Kennedy, known for his anti-vaccine rhetoric, is a long shot. Author Marianne Williamson is also running for the Democratic nomination. As for Republicans, there are now five candidates, not including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis or former Vice President Mike Pence. They're expected to announce their decisions by summer. The Senate is calling for a watchdog probe into the CIA's handling of sexual assault cases. The letter from the Senate Intelligence Committee asking for an immediate investigation into those sexual assault cases came Wednesday. With Chairman Virginia Democratic Senator Mark Warner and Vice Chair Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio writing that they're concerned about the nature of the allegations and the CIA's response. The request comes after the House Intelligence Committee said earlier this month it was investigating the clandestine agency's handling of sexual assault and harassment cases. 
That probe also comes as multiple female CIA employees said the agency is discouraging women from filing sexual misconduct complaints. A CIA spokesperson said they would not comment on the investigation. The U.S. debt ceiling drama has yet to reach the final act, and there's no sign of any comic relief. President Joe Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy haven't come to terms on how to raise the financial ceiling. And unless, the, unless that changes, some analysts say American living standards could be affected. John Lawrence reports. The United States reached its $31.4 trillion spending limit on January 19th. And that's when the battle in the Beltway began. This power struggle between Democrats and Republicans, and frankly between Republicans and Republicans, could lead to the first default in a major advanced economy since the Great Depression and World War II. House Speaker Kevin McCarthy's 320-page Limit, Save, and Grow Act, which passed through the House, raises the debt limit, but trims the budget. The polls are overwhelmingly showing that they, do, they want cuts in spending in order to raise the debt ceiling. We've done the responsible thing, uh, and the president and the Senate need to accept that. President Joe Biden and most Democratic lawmakers aren't interested. The discussion on the debt ceiling ought to be agree to raise the debt ceiling, period, end of story. And tell us about when you want to schedule discussions on the budget. They ought to be separate. If an agreement on the debt ceiling isn't reached by summer, officials say treasuries could tank, interest rates spike, the dollar sinks, and global economies reel. The banking system, particularly small and medium-sized banks, still have a lot of losses on their books simply because interest rates went up a lot. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says the debt ceiling deadline could come as soon as June. I'm John Lawrence reporting. Economists at Goldman Sachs say 10 percent of the country's economic activity would come to a halt and many jobs could be lost. And Riley Fitzgerald is here with us now to take a look at your weather forecast. Well, it's going to be a very nice, beautiful day today, a beautiful day tomorrow, a beautiful cloudless sky over Richland right now. I'll track the conditions for you in just a few minutes. Plus, a seventh grader is being hailed a hero after leaping into action to save a bus full of children. Live with Kelly and Mark today at 9 on Cap K View. At Vapiano, we invite you to slow down, enjoy the journey. Make a reservation today. Taste wine where it's created. Sample a variety of wines from Sauvignon Blanc, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, and make it a day to remember. Vapiano Estates, Walla Walla. Shelter. Out here, it's the most important thing. But the good thing is, my Ford F-150 provides enough power to keep working. Get a great deal on an F-150, only at your local Ford dealer. Okay, I think we're all aware that most cell companies only give you the lowest price when you sign up for multiple lines. What? Multiple lines? Hello? Yeah, uh-huh, one sec. But US Whoa. Cellular gives you just one line for $29.99 with unlimited data. Just one line with unlimited data. So you don't have to get more lines than you no, need. No, you hang up. Are you even listening, guy who never looks up from his phone? Oh, not for me, I just say it. Okay, so no, no, you're not listening. Get one line for $29.99, plus every plan is price protected. US Cellular, built for us. It's time to get the tax break you deserve this week at Walker's Furniture as they offer a double discount with 18% off or no minimum purchase, no money down, five years financing with 60 equal payments. There's no better time to freshen up your living room, dine in style, or get that bedroom set you've always wanted. Plus, get a double discount or five years financing with 60 equal payments. Making it the perfect time to furnish your life for less at Walker's. We really like being in the outdoors, and when we can't be in the mountains in the outdoors, we like being outside around our house. We have a lot of projects going on. With Yakima Federal, they have online banking that helps us transfer money without having to go in during the weekends when we do most of our work around our house. Right now, we're starting on an endeavor of raising chicken. They can help us with that too, I'm sure. <laughs> We've been a customer of Yakima Federal for 12 years. I've enjoyed it all 12 years. That is Playoff Hockey on ESPN and ABC. Everyone's a winner, baby, that's so loud. 
the Stanley Cup playoffs on ABC Cap KV. Sponsored locally by Prosser Memorial Health. Learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. That sound. Wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves. Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer. Only at your local Ford dealer. It's spring, when weather can change fast. Just another reason to trust CapQV First Alert Weather. To make sure changing weather doesn't ruin your plans, don't miss my forecast. First Alert Weather from CapQV Local News, helping keep you and your family safe. April is National Foot and Ankle Health Awareness Month. Remember to inspect your feet daily for injuries and other ailments. More information can be found at yaktrynews.com. Prosser Orthopedic Center podiatrist Dr. Jared Clifford is accepting new patients. This is how we care. Welcome back. Shocking video this morning shows a middle school student jumping into action when a school bus driver had a medical emergency. The incident happened in Warren, Michigan Wednesday. The district said the driver became lightheaded and lost consciousness while driving the students home. Seventh grader Dylan Reeves noticed the situation, jumped from his seat and grabbed the wheel and helped get the bus to a safe spot. He also directed others to call 911. Police and fire crews were able to quickly catch up to the bus to help. Police said no one was hurt. The driver is recovering in the hospital. The district superintendent said Reeves' actions were, quote, an extraordinary act of courage. And in my 35 plus years of education, um, this was an extraordinary act of courage and maturity on his part. He jumped up from his seat, threw his backpack down, ran to the front of the bus, grabbed the steering wheel, and brought the bus to a stop in the middle of the road. Oh my goodness, too young to even have his driver's license, and yet he's guiding a bus to safety. For sure, I mean, the level of situational awareness that one has to have to notice that and mm -hmm. then prevent it from happening and calling others to call 911 and yeah. what a fantastic situation. I'm glad no one was injured. And Me too. All the best yeah, to the bus heroic. driver. Well, let's take a look at our, our first alert forecast. It's a beautiful cloudless sky over Richland. I'll have your extended forecast coming up. We'll track the conditions for you. And last night was the first night of the NFL draft. We'll give you a look at all the first round surprises. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. If only there was a place in the morning to start my day. With a smile, somewhere to help me get in the know. Oh wait, there is. Bring your friends. Good morning, America. GMA 7A. Now that's how you start your day. Create the bedroom sanctuary of your dreams during the memorial sale at More Furniture for less than $700. This bed featuring padded headboards, side rails, and footrest is only $6.95. Add a touch of glam with this queen bed with padded headboard, mirror detail, and lighting in two color options for only $6.95. Give any bedroom a refined elegance with this classic arch panel bed, still only $6.95. Preview these sale specials and chat with one of our design experts at morefurniture.com. Come shop the largest selection of RVs in the Tri-Cities at Appleway RV. See big on Class A's, Class C's, travel trailers, toy haulers, and fifth wheels. Shop America's top brands, Rockwood, Tiffin, Newmar, Dynamax, and more with a huge selection of pre-owned RVs. Plus, get maximum value for your trade, all with no payments for 90 days. Come shop the clearance event at Appleway RV Pasco. Smoke City for Less is your one-stop shop in Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, Hermiston, and West Richland. Every location is conveniently located and gives you the lowest prices and largest selection of vape mods, the best batteries, tobacco products, kratom, and specialty products too. We have something for everyone, including gift cards for any occasion. Check out the specials and deals today. Open seven days a week in five locations. Kennewick, Richland, Pasco, Hermiston, and West Richland. Smoke City for Less. We smoke the competition. Your roof protects your home and family every day. Shouldn't it be the best roof possible? With Air Roofing, a family-owned business in Prosser, you'll see why our customer reviews speak for themselves. No job too small, big enough to take care of your roofing needs. Air Roofing, a company built on quality and reputation. It's Macy's Friends and Family Sale. Take an extra 30% off great gifts for any mom and 15% off beauty. Plus shop specials, now at Macy's. 
It's time for a new kind of diamond. The You're Always There For Me diamond. The You're My Inspiration diamond. The diamond that honors every side of her. Diamonds by Pandora. Exquisitely beautiful, lab-created diamonds. Happy Mother's Day. STCU and CapKVU local news continue to honor volunteers by sharing their stories and awarding their charities $1,000 each. If you know someone in Benton and Franklin counties who is making a difference and taking that extra step to make our communities better, please tell us about them today. Just click on Volunteers Count on the Contests and Promotions tab at yaktrynews.com for the STCU Volunteers Count nomination form. Volunteers Count from STCU and CapKVU local news. Smoke City for Less. We are open seven days a week with now five locations. Now, Cap KVU First Alert Weather. Good morning and welcome back. We're taking a live look outside the Columbia Point Skycam in Richland. A beautiful cloudless day so far. Let's get into our full forecast. Happy Friday, everyone. We have made it to the end of our work week and boy, oh boy, we are definitely staying nice today. We've got some dry and light winds that are ahead and we're definitely making our way into a hot weekend ahead today and into tomorrow. 80 for Yakima, 77 for Ellensburg, lower 80s for the mid Columbia and in the blues, lower 80s as well. For our future cast, we are seeing a whole lot of nothing going on, especially today into tomorrow. Not a lot of cloud coverage that's making its way and no showers until we get to Saturday evening. Just a few sprinkles of showers along the Cascades that are making their way just a little bit across our area. Some more cloud coverage coming for Saturday into Sunday as well. For our wind outlook, we are seeing not a whole lot of wind to start our weekend and then we are peaking a little bit for that wind on Sunday, settling down through the work week, making our way five to 15 miles per hour. Not a whole lot of wind for our area. For our temperature trend, we are seeing we are 12 degrees above our average for Friday, 17 degrees above average for our Saturday. That is a hot weekend that's ahead. We're settling down for our Monday, raising back way above average for the rest of our work week next week. It's going to be definitely a hot weekend ahead and into our next work week. For our temperatures tonight, we are staying warm and cool. These are kind of what our highs were looking like for last week. The lower 50s into the mid 50s, staying nice and warmer than we've been definitely for tonight. For our seven day forecast in Yakima, 80 degrees for Friday, 87 for Saturday, 80 degrees for Sunday, dropping a little bit into our Monday, raising back throughout the rest of the week. Definitely some sun for our weekend ahead. Very, very exciting. For the Tri-Cities, we're seeing the upper 80s this weekend, settling down to the lower 70s to start our work week and raising back for our midweek when we when was the last time we saw this many 80s on our forecast it is very very exciting in walla walla starting with the sun today 85 for tomorrow 84 sunday dropping for monday but raising back up as we get through the rest of our work week it is a hot and sunny day that's ahead for today and for tomorrow, an even hotter day that's coming tomorrow, it'll start to cool off a bit for the start of our next work week, but we are starting to feel like spring. It's very exciting. Have a great Friday. Now to the NFL draft. The first round kicking off last night in Kansas City, Missouri. This year's draft was incredibly uncertain, but now we have the answers so many have been waiting for. ABC's Rena Roy breaks it all down from Kansas City. Good morning. This was life changing for some of the nation's top college football stars. Now taking that big leap into the NFL, what they've been working so hard for. First pick overall, no surprises there. Alabama quarterback Bryce Young selected by the Carolina Panthers. Next up, another star QB CJ Stroud headed to Houston. 
All eyes also on the other top two QBs, Anthony Richardson going fourth to the Colts and Will Levis falling outside of the top ten. Jalen Carter going ninth overall to the Philadelphia Eagles. There was so much excitement with some diehard fans traveling from around the country to support these prospects and their teams and a beautiful posthumous tribute to the three University of Virginia players who were shot and killed on a charter bus after returning back to campus from a field trip last year. Their families welcomed on stage for an emotional honorary induction into the NFL. And this round was just the beginning. Rounds two and three kick off tonight when more prospects find out what their future in football looks like. Rena Roy, ABC News, Kansas City. The Seattle Seahawks selected Illinois cornerback Devin Witherspoon with the fifth overall pick in the NFL draft. Witherspoon was the Big Ten defensive back of the year last season. He was an All-American and had more interceptions than touchdowns allowed in his career. They also selected Ohio State wide receiver Jackson Smith in Jigba with the 20th overall pick. Smith and Jigba is considered to be the top wide receiver in the draft and will pair with Seahawks star receiver DK Metcalf. Smith and Jigba has the most receiving yards in Ohio State history. He also holds a bowl game record with 347 receiving yards in the 2021 Rose Bowl. The NFL draft will continue with rounds two and three. Seattle has a pair of second round picks and a third round pick. You can watch the second round of the draft at 4 o'clock today on Cap K View. I'll be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast. But first, a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. I'm thinking about In this morning's GMA First Look, Ed Sheeran back on the witness stand at his copyright infringement trial. The pop star brought his guitar, briefly playing the chord progression he's accused of copying for his Grammy-winning song, Thinking Out Loud. Darling, I will be loving you till we're 70. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. At the trial, Let's Get It On was called the perfect song for that moment. But Sheeran testified he wrote his song after a grandparent died as a testament to love at an advanced age. And he said he wrote it in a day. Hardly time to think about copying a common chord progression. We'll be live from the courthouse coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Aaron Katursky, ABC News, New York. Martial arts is my passion. I work out whenever I can. But with my moderate to severe eczema, it can be tough. My skin was so uncomfortable. The itching was so bad. Now I'm staying ahead of my eczema. There's a power inside all of us to live our passion. And Dupixent works on the inside to help heal your skin from within. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema so adults can have long-lasting, clearer skin and fast itch relief. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Healing from within is a powerful thing. Ask your eczema specialist how Dupixent can help heal your skin from within. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now is 6.52. We're going to get to Riley's local forecast in a moment, but first a look at this morning's top stories. Reproductive and gender-affirming care taking center stage in Washington state politics. Governor Jay Inslee signed several state bills that add protections for abortion access and gender-affirming care. The legislation will protect abortion access in Washington state and support doctors who provide that care. The measures take steps to counteract recent legislation in Idaho that aims to stop people from crossing into Washington for such care. Governor Inslee's office says $15 million for the 2023 to 2025 budget has been set aside for abortion care. The governor plans to sign the updated budget next month. Meanwhile, backlash against legislation the governor signed, which bans assault weapons in Washington state, Several organizations, including the NRA and one gun store in Spokane, now suing the state of Washington over its semi-automatic rifle ban. 
They called the law unconstitutional. The lawsuit goes on to say the law violates both the Second and the Fourteenth Amendments. And tens of millions of Americans use these every day for lawful purposes. Uh, so we brought this suit forward on behalf of NRA members and Washingtonians who you know, are exercising their fundamental right to keep and keep and bear arms. Washington Attorney General Bob Ferguson says he expects the state to face lawsuits. The 2023 Tricidian of the Year is retired PNNL Lab Director Laura Powell. The announcement was made at the Three Rivers Convention Center last night. After retiring from PNNL, Powell was appointed to the WSU Tri-Cities Board of Regents. Powell has been an active member of Seroptimist International of Pasco Kennewick for 13 years, where she helps young women with access to education and economic empowerment. One of her biggest passions, though, is human trafficking awareness. For me, it's been helping women and girls succeed and be able to, particularly those who are disadvantaged, to succeed and to live their dreams. And it's also been about helping to, to raise awareness of child trafficking in our community. When Powell isn't volunteering her time, she says she enjoys golfing, traveling, and spending time with her grandchildren. Japanese exchange students at Davis High School have spent their last couple of days in Yakima learning about Yakima culture. 28 students have been working to learn intricate methods of Native American beading to make ropes, keychains, and medallions while being told some of the history of the Yakima people. The assistant principal who leads the class has been beating that way for years and was excited to share it with the students. I'm Simpson from Alaska, but I worked a lot with the Yakima tribe at the tribal school and, and uh, so I'm always promoting Native culture. She says the students fly out today, but she's hoping to make it a tradition and share this with the next group of exchange students. Tonight, Proof opens at the Princess Theatre in Prosser, and for the first time, a dramaturg is helping out with the production. A dramaturg is an advisor who works with the theatre to interpret scripts and research. In this case, the director asked a PNNL research scientist to come in and make sure they got the math right. Many actors uh, and, and people in the arts aren't necessarily mathematicians, and yet these characters have uh, a love and an understanding of mathematics that is like artists and beauty and that sort of thing. Proof tells the story of the daughter of a mathematical genius who she cared for through mental illness. The Seattle Seahawks selected Illinois cornerback Devin Witherspoon with the fifth overall pick in the NFL draft. Witherspoon was the Big Ten defensive back of the year last season. He was an All-American and had more interceptions than touchdowns allowed in his career. Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day so far. We are definitely staying nice into our day today. We got some dry conditions with some light winds and a hot weekend that's ahead. It's very exciting. Let's take a look at that temperature trend. 83 for today, 88 for tomorrow. We're seeing us drop into our Monday and raise throughout the rest of our week. It is just a beautiful weekend ahead. Some spring-like conditions that we've definitely been missing for the last couple weeks, but we're finally experiencing it now. For our future cast, we are seeing not a whole lot going on, a not a lot of cloud coverage, and no rain until we get to a little bit of shower coverage coming on Saturday night that's making its way over the Cascades into some more cloud coverage for our Sunday into our Monday. Beautiful day. For our conditions, we are seeing 80 degrees in Yakima, 77 in Ellensburg today, lower 80s for the Mid-Columbia and eight lower 80s for the Blues. Beautiful day today, hot day today, an even hotter day tomorrow, but it'll start to cool off by the start of your next work week. Let's have a great Friday today. Have a good one.